Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergaga.com and in this video we're going to look at how you can add your own function to the status bar at the bottom of your Excel screen. So just like when you select a bunch of numbers here, a bunch of cells on your worksheet and at the bottom you can see the average, uh, the count, the numerical count and the sum of them selected values. We want to add our own function to that and what we're going to get one to do is to count the number of blank cells uh, of the selected range. So an example of what I just did, we want one at the bottom saying that there are two blank cells within that selected range. Now we know that you can right mouse click on a status bar to, to add and remove functions and you guys may have something different to me at the moment. You know, I've only got the options here to add the minimum and the maximum values. So Excel by default doesn't have one for count blanks. We're going to look at creating this itself and making it display on this status bar. And we're going to have to use a macro to do this. Now we're going to have to first of all create a macro that is capable of counting how many blank cells and then activating the status bar and displaying the answer on it but then we'll have to uh, use the uh, worksheet uh, selection change event so that the moment somebody selects cells on a worksheet that will trigger a call for this macro to do its job so we're going to create two macros if you will uh, but one just to kind of trigger to run the other so I'm going to use my Alt and F11 keyboard shortcut here, my Alt and F11, to open up the Visual Basic Editor uh, on our screen. And immediately on the left, I've got a project for this file. I'm going to go to the Insert menu and insert a new module. Now at the top of this module, the first thing I'm going to do is create two variables. We're going to need one variable to store the number of blanks in the selected range and another variable to store the range that has been selected. So I'm going to start with the, the keyword of public because I need these variables to be available across the whole project so that actually I only need one available across the whole project to be fair but the the one for when the user selects a range uh, that one for the range we're going to need that public we're going to need that wired to the whole project so that it's accessible from the worksheet selection change uh, event procedure uh, as well. So let's just get, get going with this. So I'm going to create one, I'm going to call it number of blanks, number blank, and that is going to be a data type of long. So it's going to store a potentially large number that will be storing how many blanks there are. And then I'm going to create another one which I'll call RNG, and that is going to be a data type of range. So this is the one that is going to be storing a range that the user has selected. And I'm going to create this sub procedure, this sub routine, and I'm going to call it number of blanks. Can't use a space in there, let me get rid of that space. Sub number of blanks. Okay, and what are we going to need this procedure to do? Well, the first thing I'm going to need it to do, I'm going to need it to count how many blanks there are. So I'm going to write number blank because that's the variable that is going to store uh, the number of blanks that there are. So equals, let's assign it to that variable. And I'm going to use the count function, sorry, the count blank function uh, of Excel. So I'm going to access an Excel function by using the application object, worksheet function, and then you get the list of various functions that Excel has, uh, just so you would access it on a worksheet. I'm going to use count blank, open in bracket, that will ask you what would you like to count, what range would you like to use. I'm going to use RNG, the range that the user selected. Now at this point, um, Excel would not know what range the user selected because we haven't assigned anything to that object. That's what we're going to have to put in a different uh, macro, a different procedure. We'll be putting it in the worksheet selection change uh, procedure. But for now, Let's assume that is done and tell it to count that range so that it does so. 
and then we want to display this information on that status bar. So we're going to say application dot display status bar. Let's scroll through. Is it in there? There we go. And we're going to put equals true. So this will activate the status bar. This will give us access to Excel status bar so that then we can add something to it. And we're going to do that by writing application dot status bar equals and then whatever we want to do. And I want to get it to look similar to the functions that they already have on there, such as some average uh, you know, numeric count, etc. Uh, and to do that, inside a string, I'm going to put blanks, uh, colon, space, and concatenate onto that the variable that is storing how many blanks there are. So the ones they have say like sum colon blah, average colon blah. And although I don't have to, you can get this to say whatever you wish. Um, I'm going to try and keep it consistent with what's already there. Okay, so that is our macro. That is our procedure that will count the number of blanks and display it on the status bar. What we now need to do is get a macro to kind of trigger that. So I'm going to double click on the sheet object in the project here to open up a code window for that. And along the top, I'm going to use the two drop down lists. First one to choose a worksheet. And then the second one, which I'm not actually going to need because the default is selection change. But this is where you can get access to the various events running off the worksheet. And the default one here for worksheet selection change happens to be what we want to use. So we're going to continue with that. Now do not change the name of this. This is important for it to work. Now notice it's got by eval target as range. So this procedure is triggered by a change on the selection of this worksheet. And somebody selects a range on a worksheet. And they're telling us that the range they selected is known as target. So they're giving us the information that we need. So the first thing I'm going to do is write set RNG equals target. So the range they selected is target. Assign that to my RNG variable because I'm using that in a different macro to count the blanks within it. And I've needed to use, use the set keyword because this is a, a range object, it's an object variable, you need the set keyword. And then below that, I'm going to write call number of blanks. If I remember what I called it, I believe the other macro is called number of blanks. So I'm going to call that other procedure or run that other procedure. Assign the selected range to RNG run number of blanks it will run this count how many and assign it to the status bar so hopefully all that's left here if I close down this VBA this visual basic for applications window is now if I select a bunch of cells so I maybe select all the cells here for for maths and down in the bottom left here I can see it tells me there are four blank cells. So now whenever I select a range, it will tell me how many blanks there are in the selected range. So I can go all the way over here if I want. It tells me there's four in that selected range. And there we have it. We have been able to add our own function to the status bar at the bottom of our screen. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Please check out some of our other tips and tricks at computergaga.com.